You know, the Nets for the Thunder. Yo, it's been a trying start to the season. Wins hard to come by. Tonight, they'll try to get back on course. Hi, everyone. Greetings from 2K Sports. Get ready for some NBA action. I'm Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony, Hall of Famer Doris Burke. And enough, GA, it's all. Good evening, Kevin. Like you, David, on the sideline. Boy, I love Gilgis Alexander in his game. D.A., thank you. Here are the starters for Brooklyn. The small and power forwards are Harris and Durant. Harden out there with Boss, and it's Griffin in at the five spot. And for the Thunder, Gilgis Alexander and Dort are the guards. Then there's Favors, then it's Williams. And it's Roby in at the four spot. Doris, at this point of the season, we see which teams have gotten better. What's the what's the toughest threshold do you think to cross? I think breaking through and becoming that championship team, that one team standing when the last game has been played. Listen, if you've struggled for long stretches, getting to 500, you know, can be a process. But to me, those teams that can cross from perennial postseason participant to NBA champion, that is the hardest threshold. Yep, it counts. Yeah, and once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. From deep Harden, good. And Harris gets the assist. And right out of the gates, they are locked and loaded. Three straight scores early. And now, just over a minute play here in the first. Wow, Shane Gilchrist, Alexander, quick off his feet. Defense doesn't have time to react. Boss passes to KD. Here's Griffin, and Griffin slams it in. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Gives the team such a great element having a one guard who can get to the 10. Uh, certainly something every team wants to have. Oh, you love it. Fearless, aggressive, leaving no doubt whatsoever. That was their first miss of the game. Four for five right now. What a good start. Shots good by Williams. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. And there's the drive. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. The Nets shooting their first free throw of the evening. And typically a strength of their 79% on the season. The Thunder have gone four or five from the field so far. Outside favors. And there's the pass to Dort. Five on the clock. Williams, that's a two-pointer. And it's off the back rim. No good. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And the great thing about Durant, he gives you a lot of everything. Yeah, it goes way beyond being versatile. This guy is a great shooter, an elite historical scorer. Rebounder, passer, shot blocker, one of the most complete players in the history of the game. Harris's shot is off. Thunder trailing by five. Here's Dort. Coming in off a 12-point game his last outing. Here's Williams. Great D that time from Griffin. The Nets have gone five of seven today so far. Nice shooting to get this game underway. Harris inside. He's covered by Favors. Here's Boss. And the three ball is good. Boss has got eight points. This is as good as it gets for first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Here's Dort. And it's sent back by KD. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. And making a statement right away, letting them know they won't get any easy ones when he's around. 
building up a big early lead, they have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Jordan misses. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. And the shot is good. And that's ten points for Boss. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Time called here. The Thunder side to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of the game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. Harris passes to Griffin. Here's Boss. He'll just Alexander cover. So Favors will bring it up for the Thunder. It's a 10-point game. And there's Gilgis Alexander. That's good on the assist from Favors. So smooth, so pretty off the dribble drive. Shea Gilgis Alexander doing work. Here's Durant. Again, the Nets for two. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Dort, and out of bounds as Brooklyn gains possession. That looks like a lack of focus. You've got to question what he was trying to accomplish there. Now here's Durant. Tight defense on him. Pass to Boss. Plays it up and banks it in. Boss has got 12 points in the game. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Gilgis Alexander with it. His last outing, 16 points for him. Here's Harden. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. He has seven. And you can see their strategy coming in. They want to control the paint. They have used their size and their strength to get off any shot they want. They've dominated on the interior. And I'll tell you, what a night. He has been efficient. He's been strong. Unfortunately, they're still fighting an uphill battle. Going inside. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. This game coming on the heels of their win against the Kings. And guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And what surprised me was how easy they made it look. It seemed like they got something out of every possession. And that's a foul called on Shane Gilchrist Alexander. Second team that's foul number two for him. For the Thunder, Baisley's checked in for favors. And it's Ty Jerome in for Kenrich Williams. And a switch here for Brooklyn. LaMarcus Aldridge is checked in for Blake Griffin. Pass to Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And the layup's good off the glass. Well, individually, he is doing everything he can in this 12-minute session, but he's just not getting enough help. Here's Boss. And it's Baisley with the rebound. Just doing the job on the backboard. Dort against KD. Here's Gilgis Alexander. It's rebounded by Durant. Brooklyn leading by 12. Harden outside. Passes it to Aldridge. Inside. Boss. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot too. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. The Nets have shot just one free throw earlier. One for one in the game. For the Thunder, Jack comes in for George. And Maladon subbed in for Gilgis Alexander. The Nets also changing it up. Paul Millsap is checked in for Durant. Brown comes in for Harris. And Kyrie Irving subbed in for James Harden. Pretty dime there, the kind of ball movement coaches love to see. Here's Boss. In the game against New Orleans, very impressive. And that one's good, Millsap. 
They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Here's Melodon. He gets it in there. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. Last game for Brooklyn, they picked up the W against New Orleans. Yeah, their long-range artillery hit the mark more often than not. A, a great equalizer when you're on the road. It's always a good thing when the defense is scrambling. Whenever there was open space on the perimeter, their shooters were able to locate it. Outside Irving. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. I draw. Guys, Kyrie Irving stronger than he looks, absorbs the contact and still converts. What do you Irving's been doing more of? Using his offhand in the lane to hit float. Now we the lineup for the next. Oh yeah, we came in here for the third And uh, almost four minutes gone here in the second quarter of play. Williams kicks to Gilgis Alexander. Now the pass to Dort. Favors trying to break free. It's another look. And Gilgis Alexander with the layup. Gilgis Alexander's got five points now in the quarter. Well, it's not just enough to have length and vertical hops. You've got to have the effort. And Shea Gilgis Alexander gets to the offensive window. Setting the floor for the Nets. Wing pairing, it's Harden and Harris. The post pair, Durant, along with Griffin. And it's Boss in at the guard position. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Coming into last season, the Thunder had posted a winning record every year for more than a decade. But when they decided to rebuild, they went all in and promoted their G League coach, Mark Dagnall, to head coach. He said adversity tests the connection of the team, tests everything, and shows you who you are. Guys? Good way to start. Thanks, DA. To the middle. Boss gets the bucket, and that's 15 points for Boss. That's their third straight make off an assist. Gilgis Alexander passes to Dort. Trying to break that ice cold streak. That shot off the mark. And it's the Nets taking it the other way. Oh man, still a goose egg for him in the scoring column. Harden's shot is good. And inside hard is such a difficult cover. Get too close, and you know he'll cleverly draw a foul. Dort passes to Gilgis Alexander. Releases from the wing and drills it. Gilgis Alexander's got 23 points. Well, he's been shooting it so well because he's been so active, moving and working to get high percentage shots. And so the ball's out of bounds. Fables touch and last. And the Thunder making a change here. Roby's checked in. Isaiah Roby. Here's Boss, Gilgis Alexander cover. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. They'll be playing host to Miami for the next game. And that'll be the third of the four straight at home. And it's good for two. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Boss passes to Harris. Down low. Here's Griffin. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. Harris has got his third assist on the night. Well, this is the court awareness that Joe Harris gives you. He is so skilled at realizing how to give his teammates an open look. Pass to Williams. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Because Shea Gilgis Alexander has an array of moves, this guy can get going offensively, and he's starting to cook a little bit. Griffin kicks to Harden. Six to shoot. Pass to Harris. Let's the three fly. They get it again. Here's Griffin. Drops in the layup for two. Griffin's got four points this quarter. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. 
from about 16. Again, the Thunder score. Shea Gilders Alexander making the mid range look effortless right there. There is no doubt this guy is a three level scorer. And that's out of bounds. Brooklyn will retain possession. Nets ball. And so it's Brooklyn with it. Here's Boss. And the rejection by Favors. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Here's Harden. It's stolen by Dort. Here's Here's Williams. Him. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Williams has got his second basket of the game. Boy, wide open teammate. Really pretty pass by Lou Dort. No hesitation there. Boss. Lays it up off the glass. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Gilgis Alexander passes to Faber. That one drops for him. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. There's the drive. And it's blocked by Gilgis Alexander. Wow, Shake Gilgis Alexander off his feet and sends it back. Williams looking around. No good that time. Some solid defense from Harris. Outside Durant, pass to Harden. To the paint, here's Boss. And there it is for him. Boss has got six points in the quarter. And while his ability to score gets so much attention, Harden demonstrating why he's also regarded as an elite level passer. The pass to Williams. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. He feeds it to Favors. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. Jerome, he's checked in for Kenrich Williams. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Brooklyn. Greg, you know, you think back to when Gilgis Alexander came to the Thunder, came over in that Paul George trade. He exploded after that deal. And most of the focus on the picks the Thunder got. But Gilgis Alexander has been the biggest return by far. Exploded once he arrived with the Thunder. Count the basket. And started hot, and he's only gotten hotter. Here's Boss. 19 points in the game. Here he goes. Boy, Kobe with the rebound. Oklahoma City's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Two hitting one or five attempts. Gilgis Alexander passes to Jerome. Plenty of daylight on that shot. Jerome's got his second bucket of the night. Well, the passing ability on display for SGA. Shake Gilgis Alexander getting it done. Nice ball movement by Brooklyn. Driving the lane. And the rejection by the aggressiveness to draw the contact, putting the defense on the defensive. Here's Boss. Gilgis Alexander covering. Boss, no good. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And good that time. Gilgis Alexander's got 33 points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Boss. And he finishes nicer on the layup. Fifty nine seconds left here in the second. Here's Jerome, guarded by Hart. Charity stripe shot. And Gilgis Alexander with the nice bucket inside. And now that's 35 points for Shea Gilgis Alexander. Driving in. And he gets the bucket. And it's now 23 points for Boss. I'll tell you, this lead's not going anywhere with this guy making plays. What a quarter. Right side, Gilgis Alexander. Nets leading by 22. 
Harden the pass to Durant. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. KD's got nine. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Six on the shot clock. The dish to favors. Shoots over KD. Here's Roby. And oh, he hits the buzzer, Peter! And give him credit. Good awareness. And so it's the Brooklyn Nets holding a 22 point. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. You know, Shea Gilgis Alexander has been exceptional here tonight, guys. And the way that he has helped out with the ball movement has been a difference maker early on. I don't know that you necessarily think of him as someone who's going to create for others, but boy, all night he's been willing to make the extra pass. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Field Up for the second half. So for Oklahoma City right now, Gilgis Alexander and Dorch are the guards. Then it's Williams. Then there's Favors. And it's Roby in at the power forward. Harris's shot is off. And here's Williams now. He'll bring it up for the Thunder. And the foul called on Blake Griffin. Blake Griffin. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And so here is Oklahoma City. Williams passes to Gilgis Alexander. Unloads from 13, and that's good for two. Gilgis Alexander's got the first points of the third quarter up on the board for Oklahoma City. Here's Boss, Gilgis Alexander covering. KD passes to Boss. Gilgis Alexander with the steal. Oh to the inside, Dort, and a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. Gilgis Alexander's got his fifth assist in this one. And Greg, you had a lot of success playing in college and the NBA, but what was the most fun you ever had playing with a team? That's a tough call, Kevin. I mean, winning tends to be the most fun, so I'd have to probably say my UNLV team, but we had some great teams with the Knicks, and don't forget about my Blazers. They were also a really competitive team. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Here's Gilgis Alexander. Makes it off the glass. Gilgis Alexander's got 39. He's shooting the lights out down the stretch, trying to keep them competitive. Here's Boss. Good D by Gilgis Alexander. Thunder trailing by 18 with the shot. Kept alive. Here's Roby. And the call on the shot sends him to the line. That's his first personal foul. The Thunder have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. At the line for your And the first one at the line is good. Now into the lineup for the next. Pass to Maladon to stop the run. Babers trying to break free. Another shot and block. That one goes careening off the glass. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him. There's no doubt. Here's Boss. And finished off by Griffin. Oh, my word. I shouldn't be amazed anymore when Griffin pulls off a dunk like that, but I always seem to be. The man has some unreal moves above the rim. A tremendous mobile one block that we had to see again. Great send back. Hey, guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest, going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And I think you can start to feel their frustration mounting. With every missed bucket, it becomes more and more desperate. Okay, time now for an injury report. 
And let's get an update on James Harden's injury. David, any news Hi. there? Hey, guys, the head athletic trainer for the Nets was able to update me on the situation. He told me that he's having back spasms. They're giving him some painkillers as well as some ice. While the season isn't very old, this is still distressing to hear, and somebody is going to have to pick up the slack when he's out. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Appreciate the update. Never like to see any kind of injury, Greg. Yeah, it's one of the toughest parts of the game because you have little to no control over it. Well, we're obviously hoping for a speedy recovery because we know this about this young guy. He simply loves playing the game. Right now, trying to get into a rhythm, but so far this quarter, boy, he is struggling to make anything go down. Well, he hasn't proven to be much of a floor spacer for them. He had the 1-3, but that was back in the first half. To the paint, here's Melodon. Here's Favors. Count it. Derek Favors got seven. Well, that's the size of Derek Favors allowing him to snag these boards. This guy, you've got to keep him off the offensive glass. Here's Boss. A Thunder pulled in. Jerome's got four rebounds in this game. Inside. And that one's good by Favors. Favors. Favors has got four points in the quarter. The defense has got to be aware of Derek Favors. This guy is especially effective at using his height near the rim. Boss passes to Claxton. Harris outside. Oh, Griffin in position. Takes the alley -oop pass and dunks it down. And you can put those alley-oop feeds as high as you need to when Griffin's on the receiving end. He'll pick it up off the top of the backboard if he has to. And so it's Brooklyn out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. They've... Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them. And what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Setting the floor for the Nets. Irving is out there with Boss. Then there's Okafor. Then it's Joe Harris. And it's Claxton in at the four-man position. And so it's Dort with it. He brings it up for Oklahoma City. And, Greg, a lot of new head coaches stepping into this season. How does a first-year coach come in and, and win over a locker room? I mean, Kevin, that's a great question. And I think there's a combination of confidence and humility that one has to have. And I think, believe it or not, the most important trait you got to be consistent. Your message cannot waver. It cannot fluctuate. That's one way that you will lose a locker room. Boss gets the bucket. Zero. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Here's Mann. Down low, Muscala, and he floats in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. And how about the bounce pass they are being used to perfection? Here's Boss. No good on the shot. And it's Oklahoma City the other way. Pakusevsky, the pass to Dort. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Here's Boss on the wing, Harris. To the middle. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And that's now 33 points for Boss. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Here's Dort. Okafor grabs the miss. I'll tell you, you hate to pin this on one person, but his inefficiencies at the offensive end are holding this group back. Claxton no good. The Thunder have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Dort attacking. A rebound by the Nets. And, but the effort's been there for him, just not getting the results. Boss, oh, no good. 
And so here is Oklahoma oh, City. Pass to Pakusevsky. And the shot goes in. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. The very definition of quality transition offense. If it can end at the cup, it's exactly where you want it. Boss gets the bucket. And they're really in a good position here, thanks in part to the way he's been able to score the basketball. To the paint. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Takes it inside. Boss. Oh, real quick, I gotta unlock this door. Oh. Gets the bucket. Boz has got 14 points now in the second half. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Outside, Dort. Looking to get it going. That one, no good. Great D that time from Irving. Boss, no good. The Thunder have gone three of seven from the floor in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the quarter. Irving against Dort. Over Irving. And that one hits back iron. No doubt the fight's there. They are trying to battle back, but he's just really struggling this quarter. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his first for a number of seasons. Offensive output Greg has been on the rise as we've seen, but shooting for what? Coming on to the floor for the Nets. 106 left in the fourth quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing uh, the other zero. tonight. Spirited mm -hmm. performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster Ooh, win here yeah. for the Nets. Dang. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And thunder. we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Kyrie Irving. Boy, whatever was needed, he provided it. He was the jack of all trades. Big bucket on one end, big defensive play on the other. I thought his influence was felt all over the floor. A shot by Melodon, no good. Wow, what a rough second half for him shooting the basketball. Maybe you adopt a, a pass-first mentality at this point. Boss gets the bucket. From Finishing Patrick strong. Mills. This is how you want to close things out. No question. They've gotten hot at exactly the right time. Clutch play on a team level. And here is Melida. And so it's Brooklyn easily grabbing this one. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just...